Taurus. So this is a video for anyone, um, Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Also, if you're spying on a Taurus, um, it could, hopefully, it's that you're interested in a Taurus, or maybe you're like a jealous ex and you're like, oh, what's that Taurus up to? Either way, though, welcome. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> Here's what we have for you in regards to love for single Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so... How are you seeing yourself in regards to love in the month of July? Well, you might be wondering if like trying to meet someone right now at this point in time is actually worth the effort because you've had some heartbreak, disappointment kind of stuff in the past. You might have been cheated on. You might have been the cheater. You might have been in some sort of triangle of some sort. Um, and it's like you're not necessarily paranoid about meeting new people, but you're just like, it's hard. It's hard to get to know people, you know? And then, like, what if you put in all this effort to get to know somebody, and then you're just like, oh, now that I know you, I don't even like you, and you just waste all that energy. So, how are others seeing you? Well, they're seeing you as a clear thinker, somebody who's, like, very direct and honest, but they're also kind of seeing you as, like, maybe you're just not wanting a relationship right now. Maybe you just came out of a relationship, and so you're just not ready yet. Um, but part of it is, like, you just are not necessarily... Um, so concerned with the way that other people view you either. You know, you um, are maybe not, what do they call that, peacocking? <laughs> you know, like when you go out, like you're not so concerned about what you're wearing. Like, did you even brush your hair? Like, you just don't care right now. Um, and it's not to say like you let yourself go, but it's just like maybe love isn't the first thing on your mind. And so I wouldn't be surprised if this reading didn't get a ton of views because it seems like um, those who need them the most, like different signs get the most views. Anyway, it's all like astrologically based. I don't even do astrology, but I always notice that. Anyway, what should you be avoiding this month? All right, here's what you need to avoid. You need to avoid staying stuck in this bullshit cycle that you're stuck in. It's a choice. And if you just came out of a relationship and still kind of lingering, you know, like you're still talking to them sometimes, probably not good. Because here's what's happening. It's making you not feel like your radiant self. It's making you um, doubt your worth, doubt your value. Your in it actually might be making you feel stupid, really, because... Okay, let me give you a scenario based on these cards that were here. I've already mixed the other ones into the deck. But think about that Three of Swords that was there. You're not done talking about it. So you have to relive the fact that you were cheated on, which makes you feel ugly. It makes you feel stupid for not realizing it or stupid for giving them another chance and staying in there. Or maybe you were the other woman, right? It makes you feel stupid that you can't let this shit go when you're you know, partner or whatever, your lover decided to stay with their spouse kind of a thing, okay? It's not good to stay in this cycle, to keep that communication open. And maybe you're doing it out of selflessness. Maybe you're like, well, I want to help you, right? I care about you. Like, there's maybe they're emotionally manipulating you where they're like, oh, well, this is really hard for me just to, you know, every day be talking to you and then not talk to you anymore. And you're like, Okay, cool. So now basically you're saying that you want me to take on your problems to help cope, help you cope through this. I'm not done coping through it either. And unfortunately, when I try to help you, it makes me feel like shit. So this needs to end because here you are focusing on the heartbreak, the sadness, all of this shit. When there's still good things going on in your life and there are good things about being single, and you're not looking at those. And so the, you're just going to start to feel worse the longer that you stay in communication with this person. Or even if it's not another person, it's a mindset that you have not yet released. I would say, Taurus, I don't mean to be like, you know, yelling at you. Sometimes I'm harsh in meetings. It's because it's important. I care deeply about you. So here's what, what I want you to do. Um, in the description box below, there is a link to a Chords of Attachment video um, that I made. You don't have to watch mine. You can. Um, but just look up Chords of Attachment and how to cut those. We need to cut those because this is just like icky. And you can cut cords. Um, you know, these are to other people. But 
you could cut cords of attachment to like thought patterns too. I don't see why not. I never thought of that till this moment, but it just came into my mind that yeah, you absolutely can do that. So every time that you're having like fears or negative thoughts about your situation, I want you to think about two or three positive things. But yeah, why don't you try to cut that that negative thought pattern? I'm gonna write this that down and I'm gonna try that shit tonight. Um, cutting thought chords. Okay, sorry. So, um, what do you need to avoid being unfair to yourself and to others? What can you do to grow or increase or attract love this month? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't think this month is your month. Here's why. Because you haven't made um, good investments in love this month, you're not likely to if, um, because maybe you haven't let go of things from the past. And these things from the past are things you need to let go of first before you can attract new love. So that cords of attachment, really important because this is not emotionally fulfilling you. If anything, it's making you feel worse. And it's maybe pulling you away from spirit. I would venture to bet that a lot of Tauruses right now are just sitting in their like ickiness and this sadness and this heartbreak and not turning to spirit, not, you know, getting tarot readings and things like that because they don't want to actually hear the truth about what it is that they need to do. Okay, which is to release the past and step forward through a new door. But we can't open that. You know, it's like when two doors are on a corner and like you try to open one and then the doorknob gets stuck on it and like neither door will open. It's because you have to totally close the first one so that you can open the other one and walk through it. But otherwise you're just trapped, right? And they're battling with each other and new stuff is trying to come in for you new really good things. But because you haven't let go of this old crappy stuff, there's no space. So basically what it's saying is until you do that, and so that's your challenge this month, you're not going to find that person that you grow old and retire with. You're not going to find your soulmate because the person that you're wasting all your time and your energy, your thoughts on, your love on is not worth it. So there's that. For those, those of you who don't have exes though, that you're dealing with, like you cleared that garbage. <laughs> what do you have? as far as what you can do to attract love. Oh, so like you just maybe haven't made your wishes about what it is that you want. Like right now you're doing fine just on your own. Like you haven't really decided very much about what you want. It's like not even a thing for you because you're just working so hard. You're just like work focused. So if you can shift your focus a little bit more towards your desires, put those out there into the universe, then the things start to change. All right. What is working against you this month? <laughs> okay. So what's working against you is exactly what we're talking about. That you're hyper-focused on this little globe in front of you. This little thing. Like, this is my love life. This is my sphere of um, things or people or potential that I could love. No, it's huge. You know, he's looking right here at this little globe in his hand instead of the actual big wide globe, like the big wide world that we live on. There's so much out there. But we're focused on what's right here in front of us. And maybe we're focused on the wrong thing then because maybe our soulmate is like up here on this mountain. Or maybe they're like a dolphin in the ocean. I mean, hopefully they're not a dolphin. Hopefully they're a human, but you know. Um, what's working for ya? Not thinking about the past. Not staying in love with somebody from the past. So that's that. And then overall outcome for this month. For Taurus singles. You're not crazy, but you're going to feel crazy if you don't get enough sleep. So I think this is important because as we sleep, we heal. Especially if we make prayers um, before we go to sleep, like you can ask your angels, um, and you can do this in your head, um, or you can say it out loud. You can be like, Hey guys, can you work on healing me from this? Can you give me messages through my dreams as I sleep? Um, can you just like cleanse these chakras, like clear this 
energy out of my body, you know, cut those cords of attachment as I'm sleeping, please, because I would like to have a really happy life with somebody awesome. Um, okay, so what is our overall lesson for the month of July, Taurus? Friendliness! You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. So see, it's not totally hopeless. Starting as friends, making sure that you're friendly, that you're not at work all the time, that you're going out to create conversations because you can find some commonality and end up in love. Awesome. Love and light. See you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.